Have you ever finished animating something in Blender, hit play, and thought to yourself, yeah, this is good, but it'll be way cooler in slow motion. So, you start messing with time remapping, or maybe you're stretching keyframes around, and next thing you know, everything's broken and Blender's having a meltdown. That's where Time Master steps in. It's a slow motion tool that gives you full control over animation timing, without messing with Blender's weird timeline tricks, or having to bake a million things just to preview your scene. You don't have to reanimate anything. You don't have to touch time remapping. You just select your object, slide a speed value, and that's it. Time slows down like magic. But before you can get into all that, we need to install it first. Once you download Time Master, you'll get two zip files. One is timemasteractions.zip, and the other is timemasterphysics.zip. And yeah, you'll need both. Now go to Edit, then Preferences, open the Add-ons tab, and hit Install in the top right. Start by selecting the TimeMasterActions.zip, click Install, and once it shows up, make sure to enable it. Then do the exact same thing for TimeMasterPhysics.zip. Install it, enable it, and now both are active. Once that's done, you'll see the Time Master tab in the side panel of your 3D viewport. All right. So now that it's installed, let's dive into how to actually use Time Master. For this demonstration, I've loaded a Mixamo animation, but you can use whatever object you want, whether it's armatures, rigs, cameras, or anything with keyframes. First things first, go ahead and hit Setup Scene, which preps everything for the changes you're about to make. After that, click on Add New Collection to the list, and it's time to locate your armature. Now, once your object shows up, you're ready to adjust the animation speed. This is where the magic happens. All you have to do is move the timeline to the frame where you want to start adjusting the speed. For example, let's say you want to slow it down right when your character jumps. Go ahead and set the speed value, and if you want to slow it to half speed, set it to 0.5. Or, if you want it in full slow-mo, drop it all the way down to 0.1. Once you set the speed, hit I to keyframe it, which ensures the change is locked in for that frame. And if you want to tweak the animation further, you can do the same thing on other frames, so you could slow it down even more or speed it up. It's all in your control. Now, after you're happy with the result, just click change time and boom, your animation will be retimed. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that each keyframe you create will show up under the armature time keyframe section which gives you a great overview of how everything is shaping up. You can also adjust the range of your animation, changing when it starts and ends to fit exactly what you need. Once you've got the animation set up the way you want, it's time to move on to physics. So now, let's talk about the physics tab, which is for everything with simulations, like cloth, soft bodies, rigid bodies, particles, etc. For this example, I'm using a simple cloth animation falling onto a cube and the process is almost the same as with the animation. First, select the object with the simulation, in my case it's the plane, and if it doesn't show up right away, click refresh list and it should appear. Now, pick the frame where you want to adjust the speed, set your speed value, and hit I to keyframe that value. Once everything is set, just press change time again, and just like that, your sim is slowed down or sped up in real time. No rebaking, no messing up with substeps, and it's all integrated smoothly with the rest of your scene. Now, quick heads up, Time Master works best when your animation is finished, like totally done. It's not a great idea to mess around with timing while you're still keyframing, because that can cause things to get messy real quick. So, once everything's in place, that's the moment to bring in Time Master and fine tune the timing. Also, it doesn't work with geometry nodes or shader node groups. This is for keyframes, armatures, and physics only, not procedural stuff. But one of the nicest parts of using Time Master is that it doesn't break anything. Your original keyframes stay untouched, your sims don't get destroyed, and everything is reversible. So, if you want to try a different speed later, or go back to a normal timing, you can do that. Nothing gets baked in until you decide it's final. And because all of this happens in one clean panel, you're not flipping between the graph editor and the dope sheet and the timeline trying to manage a million things at once. It's simple, it's focused, and it actually works. So, whether you're trying to add a dramatic moment, 
make your camera swoop feel heavier, or just give your scene a bit more cinematic punch, Time Master is there for you. If you want to try it out, I'll leave its link in the description down below. Go give it a shot, slow something down, and see how much cooler your animation feels when you're in control of time. Thanks for hanging out, and as always, peace out.